Okay, so this is uh, HP X360 i7 4510U HD4400. So how do I patch this DSDT and SSDT to have almost perfect uh, MacBook Air in El Capitan? A CPI, which is the DSDT, I try many things, and this is the one I use. If you look in the config, A CPI, and I use that. SSDT, drop OEM, and sort it order. Yes, yes, SSDT one, two, three, four. Okay, boot. Nothing, no uh, rootless equal to zero or anything at all. There, audio is the same, kernel and patch. So what do I patch here? Hand off. This is for my BCM 94-352. This one is for the flickering. This one is for HDMI. And this one is for HDMI. So all I need is those two. Nothing else. RT variable, nothing. Okay. So, so what kegs have I installed to get this thing running? So what do I have? A CPI battery from Rehab Man, a SCI port injector. Two. Apple HDA CAX. This one is patched for ALC. Older than the new version now. The 272.18. Okay. This one is patched for ALC 282. ECM firmware. Again, this one is from Rehab Man. Patch RAM 2. This one is for my Bluetooth. Okay. Kodak Commander CAX. This one is for my WIC. Uh, audio WIC. I mean, it works after WIC. Right? If not, it doesn't work. So I use this one. Fake PCI ID from Rehab Man again, HD 4600, 4400, Rehab Man, fake PCI ID, PCI ID, fake SMC. And this one I've been using since ever. 611.285. So if it works, I never change it. Okay? Beside that, everything is original. Oh, one more last one. Is the uh, Voodoo PS2 controller, also from the uh, Rehab Man. And this one, it had to be 1.8.15 for the key. Backlight to work. This key right here. Okay. Now, the most important thing in our copy time is to fix the USB. It's inside here. IO USB host family CAX. So, you got to patch this. 
and I have the uh, one of the video on how I did it okay so watch for that one and inside here you have you have to modify ESCI PCI text and also USB XHCI PCI text also this one these two you have to patch to match with the um, the SCT that you have all right look at the tutorial if these two are not done correctly you won't be able to sleep you won't see any ports of USB at all How about this Mac It will sleep and wake with closed lid and open lid. So the audio, Bluetooth, and this is the um, USB. So everything is connected to the U. SB 3.0 bus. So, graphic display. Now, from the left side, all right, USB from the left. So, I have two of them on the right. And I just woke up on this one. Woke this one up. One port. Okay. And the other port on the right. So all three ports USB are working after sleep. Okay. The sound also works after sleep. HDMI also works after sleep. Now, if you have the same laptop, HD 4400, so what do I patch? Again, number one, it's better to show. All right, this is mine. So number one is to get it to compile first, so fix it, right? The SCT. The second one is audio three. So you go to patch, audio layout three. We have man already added this one, right? But he put number three here, but I put zero times zero three, okay? But I'm sure it's going to come out the same. So number three is I patch the battery. N zero, so I'll close this. So I patch for the battery. I use... Pavilion 012TX. And look in here, it said X360. Okay, so you look for the right one for your uh, laptop. And then the next one I did was IGPU. Look at this one. That's number four, right? And then number five. Is SDAU, so I did number five is this one. So this one and this these two you have to do on both the SDT and SSDT originally. Okay. Number six I guess is IR2 fix. So let's go to IR2 six. 
this is the one. So number six, I did that. Number seven is the keys. So the backlight keys, like this one, see? From the keyboard. All right? Up and down, the brightness. So this one, you have to check and find out what it is for yours. For mine, is key patching here. So mine is this one. So you just put it in here, right? So the next one is to make sure that it doesn't uh, wake when you sleep. Called instant wake. So this one right here is a 6D. So USB fix, right? 6D. This is the one I use. Okay. Now close this. The 7 one is the X wick that caused a problem with the USB. So when I close the lid on the non power, I mean, no AC plug in. When I open it up, it's black. So I added this one, which is the USB fix. So this one, you have to do it manually. Alternate F. So Rehab Man said put the return zero here and then compile it. All right. Okay, for the SSDT, we have four original SSDT. And the SSDT number four is the one that have the GFX0, which I already changed the, um, to our GPU. And HDAU is for the uh, HDMI port to work. Now, on this one, We also need to patch only the HD4400 okay and then you have to patch the brightness fix with the Haswell and Broadwell that we have men did. Okay. Beside that, you know, you do the IGPU and the BD0, B0D3 to HDAU. Just do those four. And compile. Okay. The important thing is that we need to compile all of the SDT3, the SDT2, the SDT1, and put them all into the ACPI. So I have a tutorial on this one also. Okay. So that's all I did. So this is the one I use. I don't do anything else. This is all for my Al Capitan HD4400. And everything is working. Bluetooth, dual band, okay, 5 gig, 2.4 gig, sleep wake, HDMI, sound, and everything. I can consider this one is almost perfect. I don't know what else is not perfect. Okay, so this is my El Capitan with the audio ALC 282. The sound works after wake thanks to uh, Kodak Commander from Rehab Man. And 
need to check the HDMI. So I'm going to plug in HDMI now. Okay. So the sound now is go to Samsung. Okay. So now it plays with the um, HDMI. But when you're done, when you unplug, you come back. 